Good morning, folks. We've got several items to hit today. We're waiting for space weather. The shaking continues in the Philippines, and we've got a fantastic article on the galactic magnetic fields yet again. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Much quieter day. The massive corona hole is turning across the disk, surrounded by plasma filaments. A few filaments had minor releases, but they were around the limb. Not much else. Sunspots are turning to the far side. The coronal holes are dynamic in two ways. On Friday, we discussed the earthquake watch because of it, and last night we came to you with a video on not only the realization of that alert in the Philippines with a magnitude 7.6, by the way, the aftershocks above magnitude 6 continue this morning, but it was also a video detailing the evidence for why the earthquake watches run with the coronal holes. Check that video out if you missed it. The other aspect of coronal holes is their solar wind. Faster streams emanate and can trigger geomagnetic storms just like a solar flare in CME, and the solar wind enhancement from this one on the sun right now is expected to arrive within 36 hours. We will be watching for that. Top science article today hits the galactic magnetic fields yet again, seen several of these recently. They use the spiral arm instability wording, but it's all the same in physical character, with interim peaks and valleys, so much more detailed magnetic undulations than just what you find with the spiral arms. Several good visualizations of just how much is found between those arms, and then the perfect description. Magnetic hills and valleys, characteristic of the Parker instability. That is the correct terminology, and of course, the Parker instability, the Parker spiral, with the hills and valleys being a wavy, rippling undulation of the central plane field, the galactic current sheet in this case. This is what's in our solar system right now, impacting all the planets and the sun, triggering the geomagnetic excursion here at Earth and eventually triggering the solar micronova. Don't forget to get tickets to our big event in Northern Phoenix, January 13th, an in-depth observer event, and we'd love to see you out there to kick off 2024. Tickets are found at the link below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.